Hello everybody, it's Ben the Human, and we're here with a new let's look at of Hell Card. Same devs as Book of Demons, Thing Trunk. Thank you for, for the review copy. I'm excited to take a look at this. I played a bit of Book of Demons a while ago, just like on my own, and I had a great time with it. It's like a paper craft art style. It's very fun. Hell Card, on the other hand, is it, that one was like a a turn-based adventure game where you kind of like walked your way through a dungeon. This one is a a a uh, deck builder roguelike which i'm like all about deck builders all of a sudden i i missed the boat with slay of the spire and now i'm like trying to trying to make up for lost time i guess so the way this works is you can do a standard run where you try to run through 12 floors to the bottom and we're going to show you how this goes i'm going to create a new character i was messing around with just the, the fighter earlier there's a mage there's a rogue and then there's a, a swordsman or a warrior so we're going to just do the basic warrior they start out with just some basic attacks sword slash something called a mighty blow which is like an aoe and then a bunch of block and then we can add and remove cards and refine as we go and then we'll actually get some other um we'll get some other companions that we will uh pick up along the way so let's go ahead choose our destination so each floor you get to pick one of two areas to go to so you get kind of get a preview of what the boss will be it's either a skeleton warrior or a spider an arachnid <laughs> and then the the area that you will get to access once you've defeated the enemies so the smithy we can upgrade our cards or we can go to the ruins where we can find gems which you is the currency for upgrading and we could get more mana or find an artifact i think i want to go for the the chance to get more gems when i was messing around earlier i ran out of gems very quickly second. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit. It's a little loud. Just like halfway. I should have done this before I started the video, but I was looking nice. over at my meters and they're very loud. <laughs> there, that's better. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is our first encounter. There are two regions. So there's far. Anything outside the circle is far. Anything inside the circle is near. So you see this card deal two damage. If the, en the enemy is far, we'll only deal one damage. So we want to focus on the near enemies first. And you can also see what the enemies are going to do this turn nobody's actually attacking us so it's a little unfortunate that we didn't get any more attack cards we have a bunch of s shields which we're not able to use but we did kill one s one skeleton so that's good and then all of your block will actually dissipate after the turn so it doesn't really help to pay play any block when nobody's going to attack you that guy has sharpened his bones he is moving and this guy is ready to attack. So let's go ahead and take him out. Now this is a dangerous guy. Because he can do three in one turn. This guy can as well. I bet they both attack. Yep. I want to delay... Well, actually, let's just kill this guy. And then we can play two shields. You have three mana... There are ways to generate more mana, um, which if you want to play higher cards or more cards, but you, every hero starts with three mana. Our, our warrior also has 30 life. Right, we can defeat this guy, and the first level is down. Not too bad. So we gain a new companion. We can get the sharpshooter, common rogue, 30 HP, and they have heal yourself five after killing your first monster. That's pretty useful. There's the cat burglar who has heal three after battle. And then we could get the Berserker. Taste my blades. Get one additional mana at the start of your next turn if you got damaged. I played with the Cat Burglar last time. Let's try the Berserker this time. New card, four block to all heroes. That's pretty good, but it is a two mana cost. Deal eight damage minus your current block. Discard all skill cards from hand. Skill cards are blue cards that are generally defensive. Let's try that. And then gem. All right, so we could get the boomerang shield, which deals damage equal to block. Exchange sacrificial lunge for judgmental scowl, which breaks block and gains block. 
get Sacrificial Lunge and Groundbreaker. 50% chance to find three gems. Lose four HP and get a jar of pickles. <laughs> okay. Or gain... Ooh. Oh, for the next battle, though. Oh, we could get a, rid of a Sword Slash, remove a selective card, or undergo an Exorcism, which removes two selected cards. I don't think we want to ditch cards just yet. Our deck is still fairly small. I kind of like this one. It didn't work. Rats. The gambler in me got, got me. This guy upgraded his short sword. That's a pretty good turn. I wish I could have done that. Short sword's a pretty decent card. Now, Arachnid, guarding a camp where you can heal yourself. Or Flying Wild Hog, guarding the sage where you can remove cards. I think we'll go here. We don't have any HP missing, so the camp might just be a waste of time. There, we have some zombies. Zombies will smack back if you hit them and don't kill them. This one regenerates itself at the beginning of Monster's turn. Does that mean it comes back to life? Or if I kill it for real, it, it will not come back to life. I'm not sure. How many can I hit with this AoE? First of all, I should shield block. Because this guy's going to punch me if I hit him first. Don't think I can hit the pig. I can hit the pig and these two. We'll go like, I think we'll go after these three. So he, he counterattacked, but we had a shield, so we were okay. So go ahead and finish this guy off. Oh, duh, we can't finish that guy off because uh, we used a shield. But that's okay, we have one shield left, so he'll actually block that guy. Now, your, your companions who are blue, they also get three mana, but they only ever have two cards to choose from. However, as you pick cards to use, it will it will replace the card so you only ever know which two cards you have but you'll get more cards as you play um deal three damage use two stamina where the heck is stamina i've never used the 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 berserker before i guess we'll see do you count as stamina i'm not sure uh let's see you're going to buff yourself and you're all moving so maybe we go for this guy just to weaken him and then kill him and then we got sword slash and then a shield blow but it doesn't really matter so why don't we kill the zombie that's gonna attack us even though it's a little bit of an overkill and he wasn't gonna hurt us anyway but that's okay Enter. Right, now they're closing in on us lots of attacks are probably coming our way Yes, indeed. So we're going to take three damage and four damage appropriately. Add stamina. Where does it say I have? Where is the stamina associated? I don't actually know. Who knows? Sun. Well, anyway. Um, let's see. We have three damage incoming. I wish I had our AoE right now. That would have been a great time for it. But we can stop some of the damage. So let's go ahead and sword slash the pig. Sword slash this pig. And then I guess... I think it would be better to block for our barbarian. But let's have him kill this spider to knock down some of the damage. Mighty blow is wonderful. This will take some damage from the... the... It's actually not going to prevent any of the damage to our guy. But, we should shield block, and then mighty blow. And he's still gonna take two damage, but it's less than he would have otherwise. And we're out of mana, so he's gonna take some damage. Not many guys left to fight. He's only missing one HP. Another mighty blow, which will wipe out the zombie, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we can just sword slash the rest of the guys. Alright, floor two down, not so bad. And then here comes our third companion. We could get... It would probably be good to have a ranged person. Because right now, if we pick the common warrior, we would have three close-ranged dudes and we'd be at the mercy of the guy's movement. So let's go for Sharpshooter. I like his ability to gain health as he kills things. And 
new card. Deal damage equal to your block. Deal damage in a cone. But it increases one mana each use. Well, we don't use cards all that much. So I think this is a good one. It might become less useful later in the dungeon if you're, like, gonna be in combat that lasts longer, but I think it's a good way to start for now. We could uh, refine a random card. Explore to get stuff. To Ooh, this just makes sense, right? Lose max HP, get get torn button, which gives better, <laughs> just better max HP. Yeah, it's just a net gain of six. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, and then, so you can only pick one of these per room, um, but you can, if you have enough gems, you can pick one of each. I would like to get rid of a shield block. We have four of those. I don't think it makes sense to have as many. And then let's go ahead and refine a random card. We will transform our sword slash into a stamina can be tra tracked does it not oh you can use stamina for additional damage i understand so we didn't even have any stamina on our barbarian we just dealt three damage i i understand three damage in a medium radius lose block get disarm okay so it's a three three damage aoe but that costs two mana and we can't arm i think short sword is the way to go it's just an upgraded card that was a pretty good room Removed a shield block, gained swords akimbo, he added eagle eye and did something else. I wish it could you could like pause and like look at those and and click to dismiss rather than them just kind of yeeting it. Uh we could fight the arachnod guarding corpses to get new cards. Or we could fight the arachnid. An arachnod or an arachnid guarding a camp to heal. But our people are still pretty healthy. I think we're only missing one HP. And then the next one is a boss, which is Skell Circer. So let's go for floor three, Arachnod. I'm assuming Arachnod is more dangerous than an Arachnid, but that might be an unfounded opinion. All right, let's get some good cards here. Got a bunch of attacks incoming. Eight on our dude, so we need to protect him. Five in a wide cone. Wow, this is a really good move right here. Yeah, wipe these guys out. Great move. He's still got eight damage incoming. It's all coming from the Rangers. Add Talon Arrow to your hand. Deal two damage to the first monster in a long cone. Arrows deal plus one damage in far range for three turns. Well, let's try that. Sharp Arrow is great, because then we can wipe out one of these, at least one of these archers. And then we got a quiver rather than, uh... Although, talent arrows? Does that count as an arrow? Like, if I fire like this, do I hit all four of you? Or just one? No. <laughs> yeah, so it's the first, the closest monster. All right, um, so you're gonna fire three. You're gonna sh attack for two. And then you're not actually attacking anybody in my cone, which is wild. Two damage in a medium radius, random monster in radius is dealt an additional two damage. This is the boss. A Templar. He's not a boss. Where's the Arachnod? Is it you? <laughs> or we could sacrificial lunge. Actually, we should do that. Um, on... Perhaps this guy? Because we don't have any reason to block. Or, or any blocking cards, actually. So let's go for that guy, and then kill this small spider, I guess? Or maybe we should mighty blow. Oh, we don't, we don't have the mana for it. So maybe we should kill this guy. Meanwhile, kill this, this uh, skeleton who's gonna shoot you. And now we just have to worry about the barbarian. Let's do it like, like this. Yeah, I was ho I, I wanted to get the four damage on this guy. Oh, we got guns akimbo. Uh, guns akimbo. Good movie. Uh, we got swords akimbo again. 
He's, he must have Swords Akimbo twice, right? Can we get both of these guys in the same cone? We can indeed. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, end turn, all mana used, yes. Still got some dangerous enemies out there. Especially if the, the skeletons decide to sharpen their bones and then rain hell upon us from, from afar. But this guy's roasted. This guy. Hmm. So you're gonna take one damage. That's not bad. Especially if I hit you? Or maybe you for a lot. Because you're you're coming in and you're gonna boost yourself. So maybe let's work on the boss or one of the bosses a little bit. Alright, Swords of Kimbo is no longer allowed. Oh no, wait, it is allowed. Because uh we have four mana because he What is your ability? Gain mana if you got damaged this turn. You got damaged? When did that happen? <laughs> uh, yeah, just blast all three of them. Short sword on you, just to clear you. Move a monster to far range. Add talon arrow to start of your turn. Strain increases the mana cost. So let's go ahead and do that. Although we want to short sword you before we kick anybody out of a circle. So let's short sword you first. And actually we can kill you. So no, now we don't have to kick anybody. Mastery. We've got a buckler, which we don't need. And we don't have any cards in my other guy's hand. So honestly, rats. We didn't really get the cards we wanted to see. I would have loved to see some arrows show up. Now we have some attacks coming in, I would be assuming. Oh, just one attack. There's the Talon Arrow. Alright, go for four damage on this guy, we'll kill him. Short Sword damage on this guy, and then a Sword Slash. There we go! That was great. We took a little tiny bit of damage, but overall pretty good. New companion again? How many companions can I have? Let's get a mage. Rune Smith, anytime I have a problem, I cast Rune and boom. <laughs> oh, Chaos Rune. <laughs> he starts with 10 block after using bolts three times in a turn. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, you only can you can only have two companions. Uh, let's skip that. I, I like the companions we have. Heavy Sword deals damage and we can use three damage. Ooh, death blow is really good. Kill a wounded monster with 10 HP or less. I like that. I didn't even read Pacifist, but death blow seemed really useful. Uh, and then skip the new companion. I'm pretty happy with what we got. So we could search for arsenal. Everybody does draws two cards. Use all stamina for additional cards. Flurry of blows, three damage, add a copy of this card to the discard pile. So you can like fill your deck with Flurry of Blows, but three damage is pretty solid, especially compared to... Especially compared to the swords that we just have. Gain Offering, we deal 12 damage and lose HP. Counter Strike? Swords Akimbo, four Heavy Sword. I think I like Swords Akimbo better. And we could just exercise to get more HP. Or just patch up our wounds. I mean, that one's free, so we might as well just do that. Then I don't mind Flurry of Blows and Arsenal. It's always the danger of getting too mi many cards in your deck, because you want to keep your, your, your deck slim, but... Alright, Floor 4, we don't get a choice. We just go down. We play. The Spectral Whopper. What a name. He's got 25 HP. Holy crap. Holy, he's got 50 HP. This is a nightmare. <laughs> he's going to take 13 damage. Who's going to shoot him for 13? How does that add up? Is it you? What are you doing? Summoning. Okay. You're also summoning. Skellomancer. Well, now this is where I want like the ranged dudes showing up. I'm very confused why we're taking so much damage. Because this is four, this is five, so that should be nine. 
but uh, it's not. We could hit you guys like so. That's it. Oh, you're outside the range. Of course you are. Well, that was as good as we could do. Sword. Like, nobody's close enough. How about everybody? Wow. I mean, we might as well get some damage out there, I guess. And then shield block you? Swords Akimbo is not very good. Because it can only hit... It's better if it hits an area and we're only hitting one guy. That being said, maybe I should just start eating some block at, at our buddy here. It's interesting that when they use sharpened bones, it reduces their HP by one. So actually reducing this guy to one HP will kill him. Um, I would love for you to have some block, but you are a barbarian or a berserker, so maybe it doesn't matter. Just keep attacking that guy, I guess. And then arrows deal extra damage next turn, or the next three turns. All right, you're gonna take a wall up here, but I apologize. Ah, it's because some dude buffed you guys. The summoning has happened. The spider has run across the, the space. Another summoning has taken place. All right. We can death blow you, which we should do. You're gonna take 18 damage. Coming in from the ranged dudes, I see. Flurry of blows. Might as well... Hit that guy. Mighty blow? It's like not very strong. <laughs> I feel like death blow is the way to go on this guy. Just kill him, get him off the board. And then... Just throw a... A mighty blow out there? Oh, or that's too much mana. I guess throw a block on your archer for now. Because we the two attacks coming in from the mages are scary. Two block to all heroes after you kill a monster plus strain. Well, uh... Maybe this guy? Then that guy? Then this guy? Just like working our way through the lineup. You ran out of cards. We could kick a monster, but that's not gonna help us in, in either of these cases because. Three damage, two if the monster is near. So we could wipe you out. Or we could start to work on the maidens. Honestly, we really should. so oh we should have played mastery first that was dumb of me wouldn't have really helped but better a better series of moves would have happened there yeah we definitely gotta wipe out these these mages because the more they summon the more we're gonna take damage I don't know what this guy is doing. He's just kind of like wandering around, which I'm fine with. I have a lot of on my plate at the moment. Sacrificial lunge does eight damage. This will kill that guy, which is good because he's going to summon another dude. You're going to do 27 damage to, your, to her. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's kill this dude then. And he's not... Like, we don't need to block anything. We just need to stop damage from happening. Um, this will kill you. Sharp Arrow will kill this guy. You're going to take damage. Oh, you're still attacking. Okay, I understand. Um, then we would love to kick you out of the circle. Kill this dude. 
with our last card. Would love to quiver. Got some more Talon arrows, which is great. Because uh, I can kill that archer back there. Prevent three more damage to myself. And then we should really go to work on the other mage. On any of the mages, really. But probably one that's... Uh, well, maybe you. Just because you might move into the circle. I'm not sure if that'll actually happen. Let's start with pre preparation. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I bet I can get a, a weapon to kill the, that guy, and then I can save Swords of Kimbo for later. Because uh, I'd prefer to use that when they're like if they close on me. But let's continue to batter on the on the mages. Okay, incoming. <laughs> the big guy's here. All right, he summoned another an, another bony. Now I would love Swords Akimbo. There it is. Flurry of Blows is good. Let's lead with... Oh, this is the more expensive Swords Akimbo. We should, just because... Oh, we can't hit all three of them. We can only hit two of them. Although you're the only one taking damage this time. So maybe we continue to have our archer fire away at... The mages. Okay, I think you're dead. All right, another mage down. Thank God we got the sharpshooter. This guy's just like hanging out back there. I'm not super worried about him. Death blow would work on you. You're wounded? When did that happen? Um. The other thing is... Yeah, Flurry of Blows for sure. This is okay. But it's not great. It would wipe a guy. Well, what can you do for me, my man? Two block to all your heroes after you kill a monster. But you have to kill a monster. And I'm not sure you're actually going to do that. So let's Mighty Blow instead. Um, Death Blow you? Because you're going to summon another guy? But it's probably going to be relatively weak. Spider's down. I think I'm just going to tank this two damage. Then Death Blow this mage to keep him from... to keep him from summoning a guy, and then we'll just take take five damage. That's a small price to pay, I think. Enter. And smacked. That guy sharpened his bones. He also sharpened his bones. Good news is now everybody can go to town on this guy. Let's kick him at the very end. Uh, first of all, Floria blows him. Then, shh. Draw more cards. Short sword. <clears throat> sacrificial lunge. Because I'll be able to kick him out of the... The thing anyway. There we go. I was like, can I hit this guy? I can hit both of them. <clears throat> Suck it. Then... Heavy sword him. <clears throat> and the sword slash. <clears throat> now... Talon arrow this dude. Eagle eye. Kick you to get you out of here. And then shoot him. Are you shooting me now? Oh, he's sharpening bones. Okay, I thought he was going to shoot back. I didn't know he could shoot. <laughs> he's going to huck one of his axes at me. But no, that, that was exactly how we wanted to do that. Uh, everybody used your mana. Good. End turn. He has fallen down. Talon arrow. And now he's got to move back in. So now we're just going to like go to town just shooting him with all of our arrows when you these talon arrows in the guy's hand are super strong like just cycling through the hand like that now he's down to one hp eat a sword 
eat a sword instead. <laughs> I don't- there was like spider webs on the other one I didn't realize until the end. New card? No Pusseron! What? <laughs> Give six block to all heroes, take a random skill card. It's golden and blinking at me, I have to take it. And then three gems, great news. Right, 20%, other players are healed for 20% of their max HP. This guy did take a big pummeling at the beginning and he took a big shot as well, but he should heal himself as we go. So maybe that's okay. Let's transform and upgrade our short sword, make it even better. Maim, focus with, oh man. Focus with each draw lasts, I see. Let's do the Death Eater Sword. I got that earlier and I thought that was really good because it keeps getting stronger throughout the battle. Even though it takes two mana, it was pretty good. Yeah. We could exercise, we could patch up wounds just seems good. And it's the perfect amount of health actually. And then one, remove one out of three randomly selected cards from your deck. I like that. Well, yeah, why don't we get rid of a sword slash? Because we got some stronger attacks, especially like the Death Eater sword or whatever it's called. Add a deep breath. And what did you do? Did you do anything? <laughs> I don't know what you did. All right, cool. Well, we made it for, through the first section. Let's pause the video there. We'll we'll continue our exploration through through Hellcard. If you've enjoyed the first look, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see me play a little more Hellcard or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.